seems like almost every single time I make another video, I have a different background. I'm just trying out new things, seeing which works best. This one, I'm not really sure about. I couldn't shoot this my bookshelf head on because my bed's in the ways. I don't know, it keeps reminding me of like like a a, a a nightly news segment uh, where where I'm being interviewed. But, so. I don't know, probably won't do this background again. Uh, but anyway, my last video was about my parents. Uh, and I was talking about how they are always, they've always been supportive and helpful of me. Uh, and just, just how great of parents they are. Uh, but, but, but that got me thinking about, about my other family and me telling them about my diagnosis. My dad is, uh, one of five kids and, uh, each of his siblings are married and they have two or three kids of their own. So I ended up having two aunts and two uncles and 10 cousins on my dad's side. Whereas on my mom's side, uh, she only has one sister who is married and has no kids. So on my mom's side, I just have one aunt and one uncle and no cousins. It's, this is a little weird, but that's, that's just how some stuff happens. But, but my family has always been close in it on, on both sides, even though, uh, all my family members live out of state from me. Like as for me and my diagnosis, uh, I I started telling people or uh, people in my family not too long after I was diagnosed, like a little bit less than a year. I would say, yeah, yeah, just under a year after I was diagnosed, I, I started telling people. Uh, but but uh, b before, before I told them, my mom and dad, they kind of uh, dropped hints uh, to, to my aunts and uncles about, about me as one of my aunts told me. So they, they kind of eased them in. And I, I didn't, I didn't tell every single person uh, about my diagnosis. That would have been too much for me, I think. <laughs> so instead, I just told uh, my dad's brothers and sisters uh, about, about my autism and then they would tell everyone else or it, it it would kind of trickle through my family and, and I told them in person uh, I thought that would be better the, the, the first time I saw them, uh, I, I told my aunts and uncles, uh, it's, 
it was hard. Yeah, because how do you tell them? Yeah, how, how you bring that up in a conversation? I, I don't know. I I was kind of waiting for a moment to work it in. It didn't have to be the right moment, but just just try to. But um. Uh, it didn't always work out that way. That, so my, uh, my dad, he, he, uh, he actually kind of, uh, of set, set, set up a moment. He, he would talk to them, say that, uh, uh, he he would tell them that you know Dylan has something he has to tell you and and you know when whenever a good time it is he'll 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 talk to you yeah and he he did that with with a couple people the the, the first couple I told but and if he hadn't have done that. I, I'm not sure if I would have told them. Although, uh, one time, uh, I, uh, my dad, he, you know, he was, he was talking to one of my uncles and I had told, uh, uh, my aunt, the, who's married to him, uh, about my autism and, and then for her, I, I actually did it, did it on on my own. I I uh, asked if I could talk to her in private, and then then told her. Uh, but 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 with her husband, my dad, he was you know talking to him, and then and then he just brought up. Uh. Uh. Uh, me telling it, his wife about uh, about some big news I got, and then then my uncle asked me, me, uh, what what's what what's the news the big news? So then you know I, I was I was uh, kind of forced to tell him uh uh when when I wasn't expecting to because the, the other time that uh yeah uh, he, he he told me that he was gonna bring it up with them be, before he did but that time he, he just kind of brought it up uh unexpectedly and yeah they all took it well But, you know, like I said, I have a big, happy family. Yeah. Yeah, they they all said they were proud of me and they supported me and all that, all that jazz. Uh, but, but it's kind of funny, the, the first uncle I told... Uh, he, he, he kind of had this, uh, expression on his face right after I told him, uh, and he, he kind of looked like I had just, just, uh, told him I was pregnant. It, it, it was that kind of look, it, which I, I don't know, I, I guess he, he might not have thought uh, 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 the, the news I was telling him would be, be, uh, this big, or, or this, uh, this heavy, he might have been expecting some lighter news, but, but he, he, he was, you know, he was like everyone else, and, and just said he was there for me 
like everyone else did. So. He, he still took it well to do. I was nervous to tell them. Uh, and I was nervous to tell them about my autism. But um, uh, as my therapist that I'm seeing now, he, he uh, goes over with me. Uh, about my anxiety, and, and he, he always asks, asks what I'm afraid of, and then I don't always have an answer. So it's like I'm I'm afraid of of nothing, or 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 I don't know what I'm afraid of, or nervous about. Because I really didn't have any reason to be nervous telling my family. I, I figured they would all take it well. But I guess, I guess now, thinking about it, I, I didn't want a bad reaction. And, and I wasn't expecting one, but I wouldn't know how to react if I got one. Maybe that's why I was nervous, but but I but uh, I I was almost positive I wouldn't get one, and and I didn't. So so it it all worked out. I haven't seen them since I told them. Uh, I. I have communicated with them. I I have uh, emailed them and texted with them. The but but no one has spoken to me about my autism since then, which is it, it, it's it's fine for me because. Because I, you know, I, I don't always want to talk about my autism with them every time I see them. So, so things are pretty much back to the way they were before I told them out about my autism, and and then that, that's fine. Because yeah, I I didn't really want things to change or anything to be different. So yeah, yeah, that that's my experience telling my family. And until next video. Uh, they they've always been very supportive of me and always just just sit down somewhere. Anywhere's fine. But, but, what was I talking about? <laughs>